unfortunately, I've not had the opportunity to see any of the decisions back again, neither of the goals. Uh, so, you know, I can't really comment on on them. The only thing I, I did see was the Andrew Sermon first yellow card, which I felt was very harsh. He didn't see the slack on elbow. Not seeing it, no. I'm only going on what sort of my players have sort of said to us. Uh, they felt it was an elbow. You know, I've not seen it. Obviously, the referee in the lines have not seen it. Otherwise, they would have dealt with it. So, you know, from from my point of view, I can't really comment on that. What did you make of the second yellow card for Sermon and the delay? Do you think the Manchester United players were telling the ref he'd been booked, or do you think any form official or what? Again, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, only Kevin himself can can answer sort of the reason why why that happened. But uh, you know, I'm sure there was some kind of communication. With the officials through, throughout that sort of moment, uh, which ultimately ended up in injury getting sent off, which you know was a big blow for us. Did you, did you actually get sent off, or did you just take yourself away from the dugout? No, I, I got sent sent to the stands. You know, I let my frustrations probably get the better of me at half time. But as I said, that was more for. For the reason why Andrew Sermon got his first yellow card, which you know I felt was a perfectly good tackle, and I felt it was harsh, but you know, that obviously played a big part in him then getting sent off, which you know made our task a lot more difficult than than it was at that time. So we did get you did get sent. Off. Yes, yes. You um, obviously had to ride the storm early on. Boric, Boric in particular was a brilliant boy today. He was, you know, Arthur was outstanding for us today and I think you know whenever you come to Manchester United you know you know you're going to come under sort of spells of pressure and you need everybody to be counted for you need to defend well and you need your keeper to to pull off saves and you know when called upon Arta was excellent for us today. Jason we, we gather that uh, Eddie's not well how is he and has that result made him feel a bit better? I'm sure it will go some way to make him feel a bit better. Yes, but you know, unfortunately, he was he was ill all through the night. You know, didn't really sleep. Was was up all night being sick. Uh, he was advised by our medical sort of department to to try and stay at the hotel for as long as possible and and to get as much sleep as he could. Uh, and then he arrived obviously half half an hour before the game and didn't really speak to anyone. It you know in the change room before the game and at half time. You know, made a few sort of changes, but you know, come the end of the game, I think the emotions and the way he's feeling is, you know, it's, it's the worst I've seen him because you know, I'm sure he would have wanted to be out here doing the press, you know, especially after such a good performance from us. Was he, was he in the dressing room at half time, or did he stay for? He was in the dressing room at half time, you know, sort of not really getting too close to anybody. Uh, Well, uh, I'm sure sort of, you know, nobody probably expected us to come here and, and get anything from the game. Uh, and then obviously being down to 10 men for for just over 45 minutes, you know, probably even more so. But, you know, I, I think that gives, you know, everybody a, a huge lift. You know, we've been on the off the back of a, a bad run. Uh, but, you know, for the guys to go out there to, to perform the way they did, uh, to put the amount of effort in that they did today uh, and to get the result you know at a place like this you know can only give everybody a huge lift and, and great confidence going into the remaining games of the season okay thanks guys